um, when I first started my YouTube channel, I have some awful videos where I would try and impersonate like Matt Ogus. I used to follow him and really look up to Matt Ogus. Uh, the Hodge twins, I did some videos where I was being like the Hodge twins and it was yeah. terrible. Uh, Uh, good online coaches we have, uh, or not even really good, just normal online coaches who they did their career, they know their stuff. What advice do you have for them? Cool. So this is really great because this is something me, Pascal and AJ, we've done one seminar called, I think it was called like the ultimate coaching seminar. Uh, and this was all about online coaches and kind of starting your business and trying to get your name out there. And I think I was fortunate enough when I started to land on my feet in terms of the fact that there wasn't that many at the time, so it wasn't overly saturated. I then had good connections. I got a bit of luck with Mike Isretel, bringing him over for a seminar and developing that relationship, and that really grew. Again, I don't think there were that many podcasts when I first started doing the podcast, and now that's grown. Um, but the one thing I will say that has helped me tremendously over that period of time is hard work and consistency and that, that sounds really silly and dull and boring i can give some more kind of recommendations in terms of that work hard on what works for you so if you have good skills at podcasting you're good at speaking you're interesting you're kind of relatable great podcasts videos that sort of thing will really work well for you if you're awkward on camera you're uncomfortable you don't really feel kind of suited to that don't do it go and find something else. It might be writing. When I first got into the industry, I wasn't that confident on camera. I was blog writing a lot and I found my articles got picked up by bigger blogs that were then supporting them um, and promoting them. And that got, got my name out there initially. So you can work hard on things that you're actually good at working hard at. Um, it will always come down to your quality with your clients though. So when I first kind of had clients, I still put in the effort, the same effort that I put in today. Um, I've just got better and I am more knowledgeable now. Yep. So previously it's kind of still, I got results with clients. I shared that hard work, got uh, testimonials, I got referrals. That's initially how I grew. So that sort of hard work will always pay off. And I think a lot of people forget it. They look for like the fame and the fortune and trying to get their name out there. And it's like, well, just focus on what you're good at now, focus on your clients, get referrals, and eventually things will kind of grow and prosper in the right way. Um, and then consistency. So again, be hardworking and consistent at it. So if you're going to be doing a podcast and you're producing it, stick to a schedule that works for you. Kind of don't just put one out willy nilly all over the place and um, all of that sort of thing. Kind of stick to a schedule that works for you. If you can stick to like once a month, cool. I like do once a month. Then maybe you can go to twice per month. Um, that, that's absolutely fine. Um, the bad thing is when people go and like they do like once per week for like a month and then they're like completely off the face of the earth. It's like, well, everyone's going to be disinterested by that. Same with Facebook. I used to do Facebook every single day. I did that for years where I did like a Facebook tip of the day. I did videos on Facebook loads. Instagram, I've been posting every at minimum once a day for like five years now or something stupid. Very interesting, uh, by the way. <laughs> oh, really? oh, awesome. Uh, so yeah, you just, it's just consistency. Just like in the gym, how do we grow muscle best? Hard work, consistency. You cannot kind of get around those elements if you do not do those two things you're not going to be a big muscled guy you're not going to succeed in online coaching if you aren't hard working consistent with what you're doing um so those that would be my big tips and finally the one thing in terms of like content production and things like that a lot of people get a bit lost with it uh because they feel like everyone's done it better or done it and you like yeah. what can i add you people buy you as a person when you're an online personal trainer it's still personal training the people I coach are very similar to me. I don't attract everyone. Um, there's people that are more kind of, I, I don't attract everyone. I just, I will put some people off because of the way that I talk, the way I present myself, the, my background, my history, whereas other people, they're really drawn to me. So th there's enough people in the world for everyone. So remember that. And also whenever you're doing something, yes, it might've been said a million times, but you may be reaching a new audience. And you might be able to present it and say it in a way that they haven't heard it before. And then they really take it on board, just like we were talking about whey and creatine. Yeah. Maybe I said that and some people are really turned on by it. And they're like, oh, yeah, now I get it. Other people might have been like, oh, fuck whey and creatine. They're still awful. And they might need someone else to say it in a way that actually they understand and they get that. 
So I would just try and put your stamp on things. Be, don't be afraid to be yourself because you will attract people. Um, and it's sometimes it just takes time to get comfortable in being yourself. And it certainly took me a lot of times. Um, when I first started my YouTube channel, I have some awful videos where I would try and impersonate like Matt Ogus. I used to follow him and really look up to Matt Ogus. Uh, the Hodge twins, I did some videos where I was being like the Hodge twins and it was yeah. terrible. Um, and eventually I found kind of what I'm good at and uh, being myself. So that's why I'd kind of recommend up and coming people that are looking to become an online coach.